It was really, really cold. It was like freezing. The Del Mar lifeguards recorded 52 degrees and were confused by the reading. Then the Scripps Institution of Oceanography recorded 52.25 degree temperatures for the first time since they started taking temperatures in 1970, piquing the interest of scientists across the county. Generally speaking, when people think about climate change, they think about gradual warming temperatures. But what also comes with climate change is increased variability. And when you have more variable temperatures, you have more extremes happening more and more often. Senior fisheries scientist from the Nature Conservancy, Dr. Lyle Belquist, says this cold snap is most likely a short-term boon for the marine life off our coast. The cold water really helps because um, uh, our local kelp forests, for example, rely on cold, nutrient-rich, high-flow water that really benefits the kelp forest ecosystem and all the species uh, that depend on it. So how did it get so cold? Dr. Pat Abbott says it was most likely a combination of factors. Freezing storms in San Diego, air temperatures being cooler on average than usual, La Nina giving us cooler than normal, water temperatures. And the effect on humans? What went through your head after you got about knee deep? It was like an ice bath. It's bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot warmer. Uh, glad the visibility was good but pretty cold. <laughs> a couple of years ago, Del Mar hit their all-time highs right around 84 degrees. Now the temperature out there is starting to tick up. We're seeing things in the 54, 55 maybe, but I don't think we're ever going to get close to 52 for the rest of the season. That's the very latest from Del Mar. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.